Hey, Dr. Stone here for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. Today is September the 27th. We have a massive football game tonight, NFL style. The Foxes takes over on Thursday nights. And boy, they got a blockbuster, right? The Rams and the Vikings. That should be a beauty. Uh, Rams are, you know, pretty significant favorites. We're going to talk about that game in just a second, and we're going to talk about some little college football, and we're going to also look ahead at a line move in the NFL. But before we go to that point, this is something you should know, and you've heard it before if you've seen these videos, and I'm going to just repeat it again because the numbers are impressive. I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't apologize, There's, but they're impressive. Okay, right now, at Vegas Top Dogs, Sean Higgs, number one NFL, just like he was last year. Number two in college football right now, yours truly, okay, at Vegas Top Dogs. Um, Dennis Macklin, this week at Sports Capping, he's number three. He's having a great week. Kyle Hunter, the he is number, I think he's number seven. Yeah, he's number seven uh, for the entire year at Sports Capping. There's, I think, 90 handicappers there. He's number seven, okay? Joe D'Amico, Vegas Top Dogs. He has ruled baseball all year. He's number three in baseball, okay? He's had a fantastic year. He's off to a good start in college football in particular. And once again, yours truly, number five in uh, for 2018 at Vegas Top Dogs. Those are facts, friends. <laughs> They're inarguable. Uh, the, somebody suggested to me I should ch uh, change the name of the website from Vegas Pro Insiders Daily to the House of Champions. I can't disagree, okay? But I'm not going to do it. But I can't disagree. You can become a VPID Inner Circle member right now for $99 a month. That's it. $99. That's $3.33 a day. And if you can't afford $3.33 a day, you shouldn't be betting. Okay? I'm just going to say it like it is. Okay? Check it out. See, see what's out there for you. Great value, plus lots of other material. You'll be blown away with everything you're going to get besides just the picks. So check it all out right there. Let's talk about some free picks. Now, the other day I went 101. That leaves my record at 159 and 123 with four ties. Uh, most recently, that's a pretty strong crack record. The Minnesota Vikings, as I mentioned, are playing the Los Angeles Rams. And these are supposed to be, the, are considered to be, two of the best defensive teams in the NFC yet. The total has gone from 47 to 48 and a half. Now, last year's matchup was an easy under. Uh, Minnesota won 24 to 7. I think that game was in November, as I recall. The total on that game was 46. So the line didn't change that much going to 47. It's just been bumped up. Now, the Vikings come into this game uh, 20 and 8 under uh, when catching points. The interesting aspect, the other thing here that's interesting is the Los Angeles Rams. Um, if, if you take the spread, which is basically seven, and now the total 40 and a half, you can't come up with an even number on that. But if that's the case, that means technically the final score should be the Rams winning 27, excuse me, 28 to 21. Okay. And the Rams, when both teams score 20 or more points, they're nine and one over. So that's the exact opposite. So what do you do? Okay. Public 67% on the over. I think there's going to be enough defensive plays made in this game to where it's going to go under the total. So that's my opinion on that game. Friday night, UCLA in Colorado. That's going to be on FS1 at around 9 Eastern. Uh, in that one, they've got action on the side in total. Uh, interesting dynamics in this Pac-10 tilt. you got UCLA, who cannot score, and you have Colorado, who's stingy on defense so far this season. Then you have the Bruins, who haven't really stopped anybody, and you got the Buffaloes averaging 41 points a game, okay? So what's the deal? Well, the deal is the total went down from 62.5 down to 59, and the Buffaloes opened at minus 11, went on, as of Wednesday morning, went all the way down to 8.5, but as of Thursday afternoon, when I'm taping this video, is that it's back up to minus, they're back up to minus 9.5, and my 
gut feeling is it's going to keep going on that. So in terms of value, I think there's no question. If you can get Colorado under 10, that's probably a pretty good deal Okay, on, on that one. I mean, UCLA is not going to play this way forever. Um, as far as the total, I, I'm less, eh, less excited about the total here at, at 59. Um, I came up with something that's real simple. I look at Colorado is averaging 59 points a game. I'm looking at, for total score. I look at UCLA's, their average total score is 55. So that comes up to 57. If you just split it right down the middle, I'm going to go under. Okay, on that one. Now, there was also some other line movement um, in in the NFL. And so we got looking at, can look at one more game, the Jets and Jacksonville. And by the way, you can read all about these NFL line moves, the, the rest of them. You can read about them at the website, okay, VegasProInsiderDaily.com. Now, the Jacksonville went to the AFC Championship last year. They should have beaten the New, should have beaten New England, just didn't get the job done. When they got to play them again this season, two weeks ago, they did get the job done. But yet the public's confidence or something is off a little bit here because Jacksonville opened up at minus nine and they're down to minus uh, seven and a half. Uh, Gang Green here, when they're off a home loss, uh, excuse me, off a road loss, 42 and 67 against the spread. Here's what here's where it gets interesting, though. 85% of bettors are on Jacksonville. So that means there's influential money by evidently some sharp bettors, better, whatever it happens to be, that is moving this line down because the public is all over it. So that's an interesting point. So I will have my selection for you on Sunday on that game. So, hey, this is Doug Upstone for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily, and I shall return tomorrow with a whole host of college football games and free picks. Until then, see you later.